This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah, Sway in the morning, shave for five, man. Oh man. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't express my joy for my next guest. Oh, yeah. Have the B. Talk about it. I mean, I always tell the story. First time uh, we met, I was out in Houston. Mm -hmm. Well, the first official time we met, I've seen him in passing, but didn't speak, you know, because uh, back then I used to think, you know, I didn't know if you could just, <laughs> you had that old, you know, that um, hardcore exterior to him. So I didn't know if I was prepared to, you got to come real when you get at him, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we met um, in Houston. I was out there doing some coverage. And uh, I remember interviewing him at the Rap A Lot Records out, uh, office, you know, Jay Prince and all them. And and uh, I remember people say, yo, Zero is going to be, it might be kind of difficult. I said, who? Why? Why? You say that? You know, he said, well, you know, the dude got a strong exterior. I said, man, I'm from the town, man. Real mm. recognized, real, man. We hit it off from point one. You know, yeah. from jump one, you know, and just had a great conversation. And we've been seeing each other in passing as he released these projects. Uh, he's the Don, if you will. He is the Don, if you will. The one and only Zero is here, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, bro? What up, what up? Most how doing? city Don. Most city here. representing. How you been, man? man? I'm blessed by the best. Blessed by the what? The best. By the best. Blessed by the best. By the best. <laughs> Break that yeah. down for me. I like that. I don't know if I heard that one. Man, blessed by the best. I mean, the reason why we all in here right now, the breathing this air. Yeah. The reason why I'm on this great show right now mm -hmm. is because of the best. But good, but hey, man, hey, you got Zebo. He couldn't have said it better. Yeah. yeah. Blessed by the best and, and with the best right now. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, how, how, last time, I, how you been since the last time I saw you, man? It's just been strictly music. How's life been for you? Man, I mean, you know, it's the same sauce reheated. Strictly music every day. Uh -huh. uh, nothing else. Have you added any more names? Like, you know, uh, Relvis Presley. My Monica's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Relvis <laughs> Presley, Rother Vandross, Rokeem, Rolajuan. Uh -huh. Roll Dirk Rowinski, you know. Rohan Ali. Ali. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. We got to come up yeah. with a new uh, moniker for him. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh, row in the morning on Shade Four or Five. I like yeah. that. Yeah, all right. Row in the morning yeah. on Shade Four or Five. Salute to my bro. It's Row Mixway. You feel there, there it is. Hey, 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 hey. There yeah. it is. On the spot. There it is. I'm official, man. Drinking and driving is this, um the the new project and it's on um iTunes on the fifteenth, right? Yeah. And it'd be available, man. This is uh man, bro. This is a really uh, you you've all, you've never ceased to uh amaze me, man. You 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 keep coming back and coming back with, with more energy in your music that, you know, it feels like I heard you the first time when I listened to some of these songs. And I appreciate that. You know, you got it. you got some songs, Heather, the songs are so real, mm -hmm. you know, when you get into the verses from even from Double Ass City. That's the first thing I wanted to know was Double Ass City. Like, mm -hmm. what, what, is that referring to Houston or what's that referring to? I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of subliminals in that, uh, yeah, Houston for one, because I mean, it's it's real hard to do what you're trying to do. Yeah. But that's in any city that anybody comes from, mm -hmm. with your haters and whatnot. And then, you know, just with the just with the state of music period in my city, mm -hmm. the state of music period in any city that you go to, uh, it's, it's being overrun by popcorn. Talk about, because mm -hmm. Houston, I remember when we were coming out there, and this is when, um, uh, you know, DJ Screw was still around, right. um, and you know you had uh, you know when uh, Chameleon there and everybody start going more mainstream. Yourself, you know, you guys start getting more recognition. It felt like Houston had a a hold on it, and you know, and then, and Bun B played an instrumental part in, in um, upholding that that visibility, and still does. Right. But it don't seem like it got the same attention it once had. What do you think is going on? We're not together. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we not together, man. We like uh, loose Legos, I'd say. Mm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, you got this guy over here want to be the man by himself. This mm -hmm. guy want to be the man by himself. There's no camaraderie whatsoever. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, everybody, and you know, people people fail to realize that the strength really is in numbers, no matter how great you are by yourself. Mm -hmm. And that don't mean you got to be in a, you know, we got to be the Jackson 5 or nothing like that. Mm -hmm. That just means that, you know, Hey man, he got a when he has a show, let's all go support. Yeah, mm -hmm. you yeah. know, 
people don't even realize like this how many many more shows and many more events get booked just oh oh you're here mm -hmm. okay well how much you are and then you know whatever you know opportunity mm -hmm. you know it knocks a lot of time it don't come knock a lot yeah. of times you got to go find your opportunity mm -hmm. right. and uh and people are just a lot of people are, without saying names are just satisfied with with you know the bare minimum the bare minimum I mean, there's so much more like right like i probably could be somewhere else doing something way less than way less than what i'm doing right now but mm -hmm. i'm here mm -hmm. i'm away from the city doing what i need to do mm -hmm. so i could do what i want to do you reach out to people though have you personally reached out say man why don't we join forces and, and, and do this this collaborative album or this this concert it's certain people it's certain people that i've reached out to uh i'm not gonna try to reach out to everybody yeah but uh because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't want to be reached mm -hmm. and uh i mean I, I got a stigma over me though like how you were saying this yeah. this exterior uh you probably didn't even get a chance to just experience it was something that was told to you yeah you know i might have beat somebody up mm -hmm. and they don't want to say why I, you know slid them up under their own car they just want to say he slid me up under my car for nothing mm -hmm. so i mean you know it's it's a stigma over me because i'm real like you did something wrong i'm eight that was wrong i ain't gonna just hey man let me holler at you over here nah you did it in front of everybody i'm gonna tell you about it in front of everybody mm -hmm. so you know people get the wrong idea about me and then uh as far as music wise I think a lot of people are afraid of me. Afraid of why? Because they know I'm a kill they song. Uh -huh. They know that I'm a, I don't know, might put their career at a halt. Uh -huh. Because I mean, I mean, and I'm not being, you know, I'm not being conceited or nothing like uh -huh. that. It's just when you really live the life, it's not hard to paint a vivid picture out yeah. of it. Yeah, it's That's real easy. That. You 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 do that uh, really well in this Appreciate album. It. Um, and one of the songs I want to play now. It's called I Ain't Gonna Lie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk about that song, man. The title says a lot, but, go, you know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I mean, that's, number one, that's one of my favorite sayings. And then number two, you know, my manager, Big Heavy, he was like, man, you know, you say that so much, you need to mm -hmm. make a song out of that. Mm -hmm. So, and I mean, it's, I mean, I'm telling the truth. I mean, basically, that's what it is. I ain't gonna lie. Like, a lot of people think a lot of stuff about me. And, you know, usually when you say something to me, like, Bro, what's up with this? Well, man, I ain't gonna even lie. It's like this here. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's just really just, it's it's just really something that's instilled in me to say because I'm really about telling the truth. Mm -hmm. Whether it's gonna, you know, hurt me or not, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna say the truth. And I just go through a bunch of truths in the song, you know, uh, from, you know, this new hustle called Child Support. And, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, this, <laughs> you know, these, or like the other songs, you know, with these women, men, you know, these, yeah. Uh -oh. Mask, you know, uh, he holds. Yeah, feminine, fem, feminine masculinity. Uh, -huh. uh You know, and I don't mean that in any homosexual way. I just mean these supposed to be manly type dudes yeah. without this sitting down to pee type of stuff going on uh -huh. with their attitude. <laughs> so, Yo, that's real. I'm just, you know, I ain't trying to disrespect nobody. I'm just right. So it's not about Kaylin Jenner. Nah, nah, it's not. A, I, I don't even think I'm gonna ever, ever have a song about. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm Caitlyn Jenner man yeah. like I'm, Lady Bruce yeah. yeah I'm yeah I'm all the way <laughs> away <laughs> like I'm you know I'm on Jupiter man I'm, if that's on the moon I'm on Jupiter I'm, I'm on one of the moons around Jupiter you feel me I'm Man, man. Like I, <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. You ain't even gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm in a whole nother omniverse. Like I'm, yeah. I, yeah. I can tell you by zero. The most of it done. Yeah, but I, yeah. That's about it. All right. You ain't, okay. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nah, he holds those dudes who who sit around and gossip a lot. Oh, uh, they, oh they, they, Twitter they, thugs. They, 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 His they, shoes they, fake. Yeah, that kind of. Yeah, <laughs> he ain't really got all that money that he say. Who even cares, man? Yeah. Like, mm. you know, yeah, Twitter, yeah, yeah. tweeting, yeah, tweeting. <laughs> yeah, they be tweeting, man, and sassy talking men. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they yes. gonna do everything to you on the internet, but when you see them, yeah, they, hey, man, how you do? You been all right? Yeah, but <laughs> oh, man, good, your mama all right? Yeah, yeah. Man, and, uh, and then they wonder why their teeth come out. Yeah, Ooh. just like that. Or they get slid under a car. Right, Up well, don't compare to us. <laughs> yeah. Zero. You ever had that happen? Like you had to confront somebody that got at you on Twitter? Man, only like every day. Really? Because people, you know, I post stuff, and a lot of people don't like me. Like, I don't know. Maybe that girl been in my house, or I don't know. Yeah. Uh, 
or maybe you know. I mean, it's a whole lot of different. Re- I couldn't really tell you because I ain't never been no hater before. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I'll post something positive. Yeah, I'm just like, hey man, yeah, you know, everybody wake up today, man. You know, thank God for another day. Let's get this money. Mm-hmm. That's all you talk about is money. Why you? Then, then you get it, you get it. Yeah, you get negative. But then, but yeah. then the thing about it is, I be somewhere everywhere. Uh-huh. So then you run into one of them uh-huh. and see, I'm one of them type of dudes. Like, I ain't gonna be, you know, like I heard Future say a couple of times, like, yeah, man, get on, say, say what you want to say on mine. I don't care. Well, I ain't Future. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm finna go to your profile. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm gonna see who you is. Click and memorandum. Uh-huh. Then I'm gonna see you somewhere. <laughs> hey, wasn't you? <laughs> hey, man, ain't you? Yeah. You was the dude that was in the G string on your profile, huh? <laughs> that was you. <laughs> that was, <laughs> hey man, let's go in this corner right quick. Let me, let me, let me, let's let's talk right quick. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, yeah, this all the time <laughs> because I'm still in the different places that I rap about. Like uh-huh. I'm not so far gone to where I'm. You know, it's just it's tea and hors d'oeuvres. Right, it's, you accessible. Yeah, I'm I'm still going to where the hating originates from. <laughs> so I got to. I do my laundry over there. Yeah. So you know. <laughs> Yo, this is real. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. You, uh-huh. do, you, you do your laundry in that same neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right around the corner from where you saw me do my first show at. Yeah. yeah I'm still over there. Well, I'm not over there, but I mean, that's my people. You know, I right. spend my money with my people. Mm, that's beautiful. You, know, well, well, you don't want to yeah. just get your own washer and dryer, though? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got my own washer and dryer. Oh, you do? I'm just, yeah, I got my own washer and dryer. I got a whole lot of stuff I ain't had back then, but. I'm just accustomed to going and go dealing with the same people I've been dealing for years, the people in my neighborhood, mm-hmm. the people who was doing them when they was when they were dickies and just t-shirts. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, I still, you know, I still service them. I still I'm, I don't even live in Houston, but I mean I go every day mm-hmm. because I want to spend my money with my people. Mm. You yeah. you say in the line um and successful the song successful which is one of my favorite songs too man cuz it's like celebrating you know like yeah. what you've accomplished and you say it's unbelievable uh I saw shit I thought I'd never seen now I'm exactly what y'all told me I would never be. Right. That 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 right. must be a major accomplishment for you, right? Like yeah. what kind of things did you hear you would never be growing up and Well, I would never be on the Sway show. Oh, well, shit, you got that. Shit, t- mark that on the bucket list. Yeah, Check. yeah, okay. that's right. on the bucket list. Okay. I would never make it out of Texas. I wouldn't get no show. What, don't nobody want to hear this reality rap shit. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, mm. you know, you're not good enough. Or, you know, or, well, like when I came into the Screwed Up Click, you know, the Screwed Up Click is all about a slower pitch rap, mm-hmm. you know, over a slower beat. And I came in, you know, on some Bone Thugs and Harmony type. Uh-huh. Or, you know, because I was listening to cats like, you know, Bone and Street Military. So that's what I was emulating. Uh-huh. So they was like, screw, man, this nigga rapping too fast. Screw was like, man, y'all listening too slow. Mm-hmm. You know, so they would tell me I would never, I would, I would never be, you know, nothing in the screwed up click. And at this moment, I'm probably the highest paid member out the screwed up click. Wow. Yeah. And it's kind of like, and a lot of, and like, that line that you referred to is really some it's really some ultimatum to me going back every day too because uh-huh. you uh-huh. know it's kind of like who comes come do they laundry you know in their neighborhood with them ragged ass streets riding a bentley through there just and they like oh here this nigga come uh-huh. and his spur uh-huh. with his yeah I, I do that on purpose you do that on purpose yeah, i do that on purpose and the same cats who was like man you ain't gonna be out then i turn into the Hey, how y'all doing? I make sure the sun hit my bracelet right when I wave. Just, hey, how y- y'all all right? Y'all Yo. good? Man, let's go get something to eat. And then, you know, really go get something to eat. Right. Really go get something to eat. Yeah, really pay for everything and then really drop them back off. Mm. Yeah, but, you know, and ultimately, it, 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 listen, here's the thing about that, though. Some people might get on your back and say, man, it's like you rubbing your success in their face. But right. in, in this case, it's like, look, y'all know where I came from. Yeah. Look where I, what I've done right. if I can do it. You can, you can do do mm-hmm. do it too, right? Yeah, and, that, and that's another flip side to the coin. Cause yeah. I mean, all the cats that came up with me, everybody got a talent in doing something. Mm-hmm. You know, some of my homeboys mm-hmm. make shirts. I try to employ them to do my clothing. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some of my homies, they just good with just uh, beating people up. So hey, you can be the security <laughs> guard. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you got a license? You okay? Go get your you PPO. Mm-hmm. Like I try to employ everybody. For something different, you know that'll 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 help me, along with helping themselves at the same time. Mm-hmm. So when I go back and I know I was the one, even when we were hustling, yeah, you know, I wasn't doing what everybody else was doing. I was doing something different. 
So when I come back and they look at me like, okay, you was the smallest cat, now you the biggest cat. So when I come back and show them, I mean, when you when you see stuff for the first time, yeah, and one of the people that you call a peer did it, mm-hmm. it, it shouldn't seem like that hard for you to do it. Mm-hmm. You know, like mm. Jay Prince did that with me. Like he pulled up, like the same thing I was say I was doing. He pulled up to the projects, like, man, let's ride. Man, matter of fact, go drive the car that's behind me. I'm not finna drive this car. Why not? Because you're gonna drive me back out to my Intrepid after this over with. Yeah. <laughs> I got an Intrepid. I'm gonna follow you in the Intrepid. Mm-hmm. Nah, nigga, get in the Bentley. So I'm riding. Then I'm like, nah, I want one of these. He like, I, I just wanted to make you want one. I was like, I already wanted one. You ain't had to tell me <laughs> and, and cap. Mm-hmm. But then after I got out, I just got out the next day and just, man, you know what? Let me make a call. Cut one habit and made luxury a habit. Quit mm. one habit and made luxury a habit. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, let's play successful, man. <laughs> That's, you know, we're going to play successful. Um, Zero is here. Drinking and Driving is the name of the project out July 15th. Man, listen to the story. Sway in the morning, 888-742-3345. Zero is here, ladies and gentlemen. Sway in the morning, shade four five. We covering a whole lot right now, Heather. We found I out know. that Zero believes Houston needs to stick together, yep. co- collaborate a little more. Strength in numbers, yeah. Strength in numbers. He, you know, he still rides through the hood, even though it might be, you know, naysayers or haters in there. He want to keep them inspired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does laundry next to the spot that you saw him perform at. Yeah. Spurs or the Rockets? Or who else y'all got out there? Um, Spurs, Rockets, and somebody else. Mavericks. Mavericks. You yeah. rocking with the Mavs? I rock with the Rockets. Oh, so oh. you glad y'all got you 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 do like the move with D. Howard? I mean, <laughs> I don't even care who on the team. Mm-hmm. I really think they need me. But uh <laughs> You ain't gonna I, lie. I, I ain't gonna lie. But uh you play sports? You ball? Yeah, who? Yeah. Yeah, who? That's all. So like I move you out the key, dog. I ain't gonna lie, I've dunked on, yeah. I mean, I just probably look like I work at Walmart, but I got a little something though. You could dunk? Is it, man, if you yeah. could dunk, I could dunk shit. Yeah, you know? well, well, hey, well, let's get in the air. Let's get it popping, man. Let's get in the air. Right, you zero. saying that? That's why you doing that? I feel like I could take zero out on him. What happened with Terrence J, though? What? That's just, that's just pick up car. That's see. You know how somebody in a room and you be like, that, that nigga over there? That's who she is. She don't really know game. She just overheard a conversation. She just bringing it out in front street now. Okay, okay. Yeah, don't, don't, don't feed into that, Z. Okay, so th- th- this project, let's <laughs> drinking and driving. This is something, um, you say a lot of stuff, man. I even took notes, man. I even took notes. You wow. say you, you, you say a lot of stuff. And, uh, I feel like a, a history lesson. Well, man, you know, it's just, you You said a lot of stuff that, uh, that, that really uh, resonated with me. You know, and since we lost y'all, this is a song you did with Crazy Bone. It remind me, uh, it kind of remind me of a, uh, see, you got the Crossroads type of uh, right. redemption, if you will. Right. Um, and then you shout out a lot of folks that 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 we that we lost, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, working with Crazy Bone always must be a treat. For, got got to be a treat, right? See, man, yeah. I mean, that's my reaction. To this. Man, mm-hmm. I'm asking, I'm asking my manager, like, man, you think Crazy do a song with me? Then when we went on tour with him, he was like, dude, you jamming. I was like, you talking to me? I'm like, oh, shit. But, you know, I had to keep my you know, <laughs> I had to keep my bravado. I was like, yeah, appreciate you. Yeah, but I really was like, man, this nigga crazy, but I don't like my shit <laughs> on the inside, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I was like, man. And then, you know, uh, I went back <laughs> home, and this guy sent me a track, and it reminded me of, the crossroads Mm -hmm. and i was like it's actually a sample from some other song that i don't know i don't i've never heard it yeah but when i took it on the three instead of the one it turned into the Mm crossroads the crossroads so i did that and then uh i was like hell man send this to crazy see if he'll do it and and he sent it back and i was like oh shit i feel like i'm a bone thug in harmony now like it's sound good you got a little bit of that oq let's hear that man since we lost y'all Damn, we was just riding the other day on how we can come up on this so we can stay down with that. Now we gotta get a suit tie, just say goodbye. I guess you made it for me, my nigga. Uh, you know I miss all of my dogs, y'all. Like wish won't miss his Uncle George, y'all. 
Feeling like fuck everybody since we lost y'all. Wonder if God can hear me when I call. You know I miss all of my dogs, y'all. Like which won't miss his uncle Charles, y'all. Been feeling like fuck the world since we lost y'all. Wonder if God can hear me when I call. Lil D. When they put you in the ground, it killed me. Cause I don't even know what was going on. I really wish you would have told the nigga what was really going wrong. Cause you know I would have been there for you. Never thought I would be at the candlelight vigil saying a prayer for ya. And it's fucking with my brain. Seems like I gotta smoke a little more than I used to just to maintain. These fake ass niggas and these fake ass hoes always asking me for money. But you was my little brother, you was my nigga. No, you could get anything from me. But I know you up there with my grandmama now. Make sure you tell your sister and DJ screw and big hawk and my mama high. You know I miss all of my dogs, y'all. Like wish my missus Uncle Josh, y'all. Feeling like fuck everybody since we lost y'all. Yeah, that's off the uh, drinking and driving project available July 15th. Zero is here. I love that. Yeah, yeah appreciate man. It. Man, I got a chance to hang out with Big Hawk before, man. Yeah. Before he passed, man, that dude was really, I don't even know, you know, uh, how legendary he he uh, he truly is. Right. Uh, of course, DJ Screw as well. You know, you feel like the tradition, the legacy has been upheld um, the way it should be? Well, I mean, I give people effort. Yeah. For, uh, for you know, uh, I guess I'll say for living it the way that they live it. Mm-hmm. Well, as far as uh, the way I... I probably would want to see it done. It's different, but it's at least it's being done. Yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, it's, you know, you're talking about the year 2000 yeah. to now. And for major artists to still have screwed versions. Mm-hmm. And for cats like, you know, you know the bigger cats, like like Drake showing all the, the love to Houston and, and the screw culture, like how he does, like, that's big. Yeah. It's big, and then you know all the all the little cats. Well, not all of them, mm-hmm. but uh, you know a, a couple of them. Like they, you know they they really keeping it alive, mm-hmm. you know. And, uh, and as far as the DJs go, it's a lot of DJs try to emulate it. It may be a little too slow. It may be a little too raggedy, but they're doing it. They're doing them. Yeah, they're doing it. And I mean, and I appreciate that for what it's worth right there because every day, you know, you're gonna have to hear something about DJ Screw and I. I love that because he was making people hear my name every day while he was on this earth. So mm-hmm. I love that for him. That's right, DJ Screw. Give him a round of applause for DJ Screw, man. You gotta, every time you say Screw, give up, give up a round of applause. Uh, uh, Zero is here, man. Now that, you know when I listen to this project, um, you got a song called uh, "Baby Mama Blues." Oh man, how, how many children you got, man? <sighs> Let's see. Oh. Yeah, we are gonna count out six out the. It's off, the, the, off the off the rip, man. All off the, the names. All names. No, you ain't got to get a name to no. yeah, oh, that. Yeah, my bad nigga over there. <laughs> yeah, that is. Oh. Yeah. yeah, you see your one? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say middle names, last names. You see what I did? Hey, Shut no. up, Hagar. I ain't going to say no name because kidnapping is real. And I, I want my haters to know where my age I came. Okay, you, you, I got I'm going to just say I got, man, I got, I got six daughters. Yeah. And then, oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's fucked up. Six, uh, six different mothers? Yeah, it's fucked up. Zero. Did you got a song with six different mothers and six <laughs> <Girl, laughs> like, Did you get a... along with any of them? One. One. Yeah. Is she the one? No. <laughs> no. No. I mean, I, I, I won't. I won't. I won't not say that. Hell, no. 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 Yeah. Uh, no. No. You won't put it like that. Yeah. Uh, but you take care of your kids. Yeah. I yeah. mean, the ones that they that that you know some crazy ones won't let me see some of them, but you yeah. know. uh yeah, yeah, I take care of who I can, man. Mm-hmm. You know, other other motherfuckers gonna make you, you know, snatch their track out. You know, I don't want that to snatch no tracks out. Mm-hmm. You know, so it, it, you, as you get older, though, man, you start like I know as I got older, I start reflecting on things differently. You know, the things we do as young men, we don't do the same. We don't even feel the same way yeah. uh, as as we get older. Like truly, as a father, I'm sure you just want to have a relationship so, so, yeah. so with, your, with your kid, right? Yeah, yeah. and I'm mean, being. I think a lot of us. The underlying fact what a lot of us is you don't want to deal with the crazy motherfucker no more. Yeah. 
and they hold your kid hostage because you don't want them. Mm. Like with my 12 mm -hmm. year old, that's the basic pattern. Like, hey, when you gonna be with me? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, when you gonna get a job? Mm -hmm. Hey, when you gonna grow up? Hey, when you gonna uh, take care of me? Mm -hmm. I, nah. Nah, we ain't yeah. gonna do none of that. That's not what it is. That ain't what it is. So. Yeah. Do you, all the old beefs and stuff you had in the past, are those all swept under the rug now that you got older? Or do you still hold on to something? I really wasn't beefing too much. It was a lot of people beefing with me. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, the only beef that I ever, ever, ever really gave a damn about was the one with me and Slim Thug. Yeah. Because looking at it as a boss, I run the South Side. Yeah. He run the north side. Ain't no way a city can stand if it's divided against itself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, you know, and then he was a bigger man than me, and he came to me at Hawk, at Hawk's, uh, you know, home going services. Yeah. And squashed that beef, and you know, we've been on ever since. That's like my bigger yet little bro. Mm -hmm. And uh, all the rest of that though, like, I ain't look at it as beef. It was a whole lot of envy, mm -hmm. and it was a whole lot of. Mis misdirection, but I don't think it was it was real beef. Yeah, it wasn't real beef. You know, like you know, beef is when you popping off. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Beef is when it's on site, mm -hmm. not when you see somebody and you and your lip you growling. You know that's that's gay. Okay, that, yeah. that ain't that ain't beef. Yeah, mm -hmm. nah, that ain't that ain't beef. There's that's a difference between beef. I call that trisexuality. Trisexuality. Yeah. <laughs> Trace, you want to chime in on that? Cause you you got a definition for that too, right? For trisexuality. Yeah. But try everything at least twice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, though, Zero, going back to when you were saying how I love that you like to contribute to the people that were there from your community that was there from when you were, you know, just beginning and to your full stages of artistry. So what where else do you like to put your money in? Because I see, obviously, you're a very well-dressed man. You've got some good flash. But is there anything out of the ordinary that you have a good habit with? Not really. I just try to, I got a big heart. Like they, they say I'm an asshole and I am, but I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a big heart. I really just do a whole lot of giving back. Right. That's why I, I really just, like you ain't gonna hear about it cause I'm not doing nothing for no camera. Like, cause I don't think it's real when you gotta, hey, I'm finna go feed the homeless, record me. That shit is fraud. Mm -hmm. You know, I think you just go out there when it's two, three in the morning, and just feed everybody when ain't nobody looking, and just you, you're doing it because you just really want to do. It. I know because I didn't slip on them freeways before. Mm -hmm. You know, I slip on them freeways. Uh, you know, I didn't. You been have, homeless like that when you slept under the freeways? Yeah, yeah. While I was on record labels. Wow. Yeah, by my first couple of years at Raffalite, I was, I was on Pierce Elevated in Gray downtown. Really? Yeah. What, what did you use for blankets? Shit, it wasn't no blanket. Well, you were just sitting exposed to the to the environment under a freeway bridge yeah. making song. You're gonna do what everybody else is gonna do, try to find you some some type of little brush somewhere. Mm -hmm. Find you an abandoned car and get up. You know this car ain't going nowhere. It ain't no engine in it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna get up in them, lay up under there, and you know, shit. See what the day gonna bring. That's real right there, boy. Yeah. Sleeping under a bridge while on the record label. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. you come a long way, zero, man. Uh, I want to play another song and then open up these phone lines. Uh, we didn't play I Ain't Gonna Lie. Right? Yeah, okay, cool. Let's play it. All right, 888-742-3345. Sway in the morning. Sway in the morning. Man, this is a... I like that song. Yeah, okay. Too. Drinking and driving. Yeah. Zero is here. <laughs> the Mo City Don. Friday, July 15th. Um, I want to ask you a couple of questions, man. Um... Pimp C uh, was very influential to you, right? Yes. What's some of the things he said to you that you 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 take to your music when you go into the studio right now? Quit talking about people in my songs, cause uh, I real famous for whooping your ass on the track if I ain't like you, like on some personal stuff. I ain't mm -hmm. never pick on nobody. Mm -hmm. Uh, quit giving the record label a hard time. But then I'm like, nigga, all I see you doing is giving the record label a hard time, too. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, you know, he was just like, man, I'm, you know, I'm controlling mine a little bit. And I really think you could be the next one. So I want you to control yours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he'll tell me that. Like, he was the only rap dude that uh came through. Like, this man to come to the jail and like, nah, y'all let me in here. Mm -hmm. I want to, I want to. 
want this man to know I'm here putting money on his books. Mm -hmm. And I was like, damn. Like, shit, you came from Port Arthur to do that? Well, yeah. actually, Houston. I was mm -hmm. like, you know, like, that's dope. Like, that's dope. He, you know, he was really writing me letters before he came home in, what, uh, December 05? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was writing letters to rap a lot, writing letters to his mother. And, you know, they will relay messages to me like, man, why you out there doing that? Like, why is you at the strip club wearing a bulletproof vest and no shirt and selling weed? I'm like, nigga, I am broke and ain't nobody finna rob me. Damn. So yeah. You, you used to be a t strip club with a bulletproof vest selling weed. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, you know, a lot of people had the same thing. I was just, I just wasn't hiding mine. I was like, fuck it. Uh -huh. You know, it was like, whatever. You can't do nothing to me. Like, jail would be a step up at that point. So I was like, yeah, come arrest me. This, this means guaranteed meals now. Yeah. And a bed. So I didn't really care. Shh. <laughs> Guaranteed meals in a bed. Wow. Yeah. Damn, that's Necessities. a... To yeah. driving a Bentley and getting his laundry done in the same hood he came yeah. up in. Um, mm. Your your Gorilla Mob, was was that the first thing that you put together? Or? That was the first That was the first group mm -hmm. that uh, actually saw some light. Mm -hmm. And that was you? Who else? That Dinky. was me. That was uh, Dougie D. Mm-hmm. This cat from here named Taz and Trey the Troop. And Trey. Mm. All right. And then y'all, then then after that was screwed up? Got Kind of simultaneously. Kind of simultaneously, yeah. but that disbanded. Yeah, right? that disbanded. Zero is here, man. Drinking and driving is the name of the project. 888-742-3345. We're going to go to OKC. I, I'm okay to take calls from OKC now. <laughs> Um, wow. the, <laughs> that shit is wow. Frank, you know, for the longest I wasn't, but you guys gave us a gift, and I, I just want to wow. say to everybody at in OKC, I really appreciate you guys allowing, um, you know, Kevin Durant to come, you know, hang out with the Yay area, and we gonna treat him good, Frank, because obviously y'all didn't, because he left. What's that about? Hey, hey, hey! Just let me get one thing straight. How, hey, how's everybody doing? I'm from Austin. Oh, so, okay, and, right. and I'm a Longhorn, so I don't care where Kevin Durant went. I'm okay. happy for the brother. Okay, well, where you at right now? Where, where you at? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Where are you right now? I'm in OKC right okay, now. Okay, that's all I gotta say. All right, go ahead with your. I'm a, but I'm a, but, I, but I'm a spur. For, I'm a spur for life, though. You know. What there saying? you go. So I don't care about none of that. You're from Jersey, Heather. All right, what's your Spurs. question, Frank? Man, I just want to say, man, Zero, man, I've been rocking with you for a long time on the street military stuff. Uh, look at what you've done to me. I'm still tall tables is with G, all of it. You know what I'm saying? So July 15th, I'm gonna be there in mm. line to get my hard copy of the CD. Is that's what I that's how I rock with it. You know what I'm saying? Man, and I I'm appreciate proud of you, man. that. I just want to say, man, keep your head up, man. God, leave, boy. Man, I appreciate for real. that. I want to send him a personal copy. Man, hold on the line. I'll let you do that. Hold on one second. Hold on, Frank. All right, uh, we gonna take it to Houston. Will, what up, man? What's up, Will? Hey, what's going on, y'all? Morning, morning, my afternoon. What up, family? Say what's up to Zero. Yeah, I just want to give a quick shout out to Zero, man. Like, I I'm a young kid, right? I I'm not I'm not one of the old heads. I haven't been around hip-hop that long. I wasn't introduced to it until, you know, I was like 12 or 13. And I low-key will forever hate T-Pain for saying chop and screw. It's screwed <laughs> and chop. Get it right. You're going to say something about it. Get it right. But anyway, <laughs> my point is that I, up until about a few months ago, didn't even know who you were or whatever. And my boy actually... And now being able to hear you on Sway in the morning, bro, like this, it's a really big to me. It's a big deal because now my like, all right, cool. This is another aspect of music that I can really get into and listen to. Cause mm -hmm. I love rest in peace uh, to DJ Screw for real. Man, I appreciate you, homie. For real, salute. Hey, hey, Will, get that album, Drinking and Driving. It's available on July 15th. You could probably pre-order right now, though, right? Yeah, yeah. you could pre-order yeah. it right now. We got Patrick in Arkansas on the line. What up, Pat? What up, Pat? Hey, what's going on, morning show? What's going on, Zero? What up, what up? I can't call, man. I've been a huge fan since you was on the uh, Scarface album, Balls of My Word, that song, mm. Snitch Nigga. Right. And, uh, I was, and I wanted to know, uh, how did you adapt your style with uh, singing and rapping, man? I, I know uh, I know a lot of older cats that, that you admired out of Houston singing was doing it, but I want to know what, what rapper made you want to do it, too, because, man, you, you killing that shit right now, man. Well, man, I'm going to be honest. I ain't gonna lie. Uh shit, I ain't no I ain't no I ain't nobody really uh make me wanna sing. I'ma tell you, uh I don't know if you're familiar with my song featuring Big Mo, Too Many Niggas. Mm -hmm. But uh on this song, like I was the newest member in the screwed up clique. 
and uh, I guess Big Mo didn't know that I was in the clique, and this was in the broke days, and I was like, man, I, you know, I want to get a hook from you. He was like, all right, cool, he quoted me a price, and I was like, shit, uh, I ain't got that. So a nigga went home and got in the in the in the in the bathroom mirror all night, and I started fucking with that shit. To uh to to uh syllables became notes, hmm. and that's how I started doing that shit. I I, I taught myself how to do that shit because hmm. back then it wasn't a lot of money. But he was like you know five six hundred dollars. I'm like nigga, I just I just came out the boarding house, like I ain't got I ain't got five dollars. So. I went in the bathroom and I just started singing like a motherfucker. I'm just, I just tried it out and I, I like fuck it if it sound good or not. You know, we ain't just had no auto tune back then. If we did, I ain't know about it. But I was like fuck it, I'm just finna do this shit and see how it sound. And that's how that shit came to life. Self taught. Uh, thanks for your call, Patrick. You're a citizen, man. What, what, in the morning. You, you boarding houses, homeless. What were your? Did you have parents? Like, what were your parents when you grow up? So, uh, my, man, my mama died when I was six. Okay. And, uh, and then my dad. Uh, you know he was wherever he was at, <coughs> and you know I, you know from house to house I was you know my aunt in them house for a little while, but then you know, shit ain't go to pan. You know as I started getting older, you know shit wasn't going right with my attitude and uh. shit, and uh you know motherfuckers you know we'll go live over here, go live over here, fuck that shit, I'm just live out here, and uh you know that's how that shit went, probably by around high school age. That's when my old man came into play when uh some them uh. I don't know what you call the motherfucker CPS or some shit uh-huh. like that. They made me move with my old man then, which my you know a year later back on the streets. So shit, yeah, I was on the streets for, for a cool little five years. Five years. Yeah. Cool. You, do you five. mentor dudes on the street? Try to you know give them options since you you know you I mean, found them. I try. Mm-hmm. Like like dudes that I feel wanna do something with they self. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, I, I feel like there's everybody's civic duty to do that. Like, if somebody's like, man, I'm trying, and I'm like, okay, you need some help. Mm-hmm. Like, a lot of times when I feel like I can't do some shit, heavy be like, man, you tripping. Man, let's go. It's kind of like, like, like that motherfucking enthusiasm that Khaled give Ross when he was lifting them weights. Mm-hmm. Come on, nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll let you can do it. I'll let type of shit. Yeah. And then that's all you need sometimes is a little old push when you're on the swing. You, you know need what a saying? coach. You need a yeah. coach. Well, I'm yeah. gonna give you a push right now. In the name of DJ Wonder. Drop that beat on the one to sway in the morning. We got zero right here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah. Uh, yeah. Drinking and driving. Drinking and driving. Let's July 15th. Yeah. Zero, I'm in here. Yeah. Finally made it to the sway. Let's do it, baby. I'm time feeling to... like it's my day. It's time to shine, baby. Uh. I'm gonna do it like this one time. If you ain't a chef, fuck you in the kitchen cooking for. If you ain't big heavy, how the fuck you gonna book a show? If you went through main event, saying weather's be took you though. Instead of tripping with me, that's who you need to be looking for. I ain't scared of now, nigga. Go to war with our nigga. Get rich or die trying to get rich is the plan, nigga. Fuck rapping, my rap be it. Be in my ways, homie. My life be it. All about a paper chase, homie. Fuck losing my life, I'ma catch that murder case, homie. I'm alive plus living $200 stakes, homie. Fuck a lunchable, three swallows and it's over with. You can't be a soldier, you a half a man, you supposed to quit. You a whole bitch and a half of another whole one, nigga. You in the book club, real niggas, you don't know none. I'm in the book club, clue, it's a different type of brick. Plus, your woman love fucking me, this a different type of dick. When I'm spitting, they pay attention, this a different type of spit. This ain't the skinny jeans anthem, now this a different type of hit. Just being honest. That's how I feel about you bitches, rather jack out. That's how I feel about you bitches, running up in my face with that motherfucking nothing. You pussy ass niggas bluffing, ain't talking about nothing. I'm on sway up in the morning. I'm wide awoke and y'all pussy niggas still yawning. It's Van Drops. Van Drops. Hold up. One time. Just real quick you off the top. You pussy yawning. Yeah. They I'm young early. man. Zero, man. My man, man. Up it's up. always great. Yeah. Legendary. Legendary Appreciate since the nineties he's been putting it down. He's been making stacks since the nineties. Mm. Come yeah. on. Look what you did to me. Yeah, man. Come on, I remember hearing that back in the bay, bro. Man, congratulations on all your success. Yeah. Appreciate I know you got another album coming up too, right? Yeah, I got a bunch of I got ghetto gospel coming. Yeah. I got legendary coming. I got a little group project, by the way, uh, To The Hard Way coming. 
Man, I got a lot of shit coming, man. Who's who's in the tour the hard way? Project? Uh, another screwed up cat by the name of Mike D. Mike D. Mm. Yeah, I know Mike D. That's what's up. Yeah, Mike D. All right, all right. Zero. Thanks for coming through, man. It was very real conversation, man. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Um, also want to thank from South Africa, aka for coming by as well. He got the new project. It's called Levels. Uh, Tracy G, how can they reach you? You can find me on Twitter. You can hit me on Instagram at it's Tracy G I T S T R A C Y G, and make sure you visit she's beating the beast dot com. Heather B at the Happy Hour W H B. You missed any of the show? Go to SiriusXM dot com slash on demand. Zero. Give your um, social media again, man. And y'all can hit me up at Zero Mo City Don on Instagram and Twitter. That's Z R O M O C I T Y D O N. Hit me up on Facebook at Z Dash R O. All right. Hey, Mike Muse, we still got that question we were talking about earlier this morning, right? Yeah, man. Uh, people have really been hitting me up on Twitter, really bringing their commentary in it. So uh, keep the questions coming. Keep well, the responses coming. We'll give them the question real quick. The question is, how do we move beyond the hashtag to create action for uh, for criminal justice reform? And this was based off of? Off the shooting that happened in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I can be found on on. All social media handles at I am Mike Muse. I am Mike Muse, M U S N S A M E on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. DB? It's really DB on Twitter and Instagram. OQ? I am OQ. I am OQ. Okay, I'm Real Sway on Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Yeah, Sway Calloway on Facebook. It's Snapchat and whatever. <laughs> shit. shit. I mean, yeah, find me. Uh, and go to Sway's Universe. We're looking for more subscribers. Did we, we're what? at 970,000. Okay. Just a million I need, okay. is around the corner. 30,000 more. I'm going to fly somebody and a guest to New York City, put you in a hotel, give you some per diem money, only $100 for that day, put you on the show, and let you shine. So we just need 30,000 more. Zero, thanks again for coming through, Appreciate man. Appreciate y'all having T- me. Tomorrow's show, we got Troy Garrity coming by and Julia Styles, And until then, we have nothing. Left to say. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.